What is leishmaniasis? It is a disease caused by a protozoan parasite that is found in particular species of sandfly. The single cell leishmaniasis parasite is the protozoan that develops in the sandfly. There are two main types of leishmaniasis parasite, cutaneous and visceral leishmaniasis. Cutaneous leishmaniasis causes skin sores and ulcers which can also spread into the mouth, tongue and nose. Visceral leishmaniasis usually affects the internal organs of the body which are usually the spleen, liver and bone marrow. The leishmania parasites mature in the gut of an infected sandfly. When the sandfly bites a human, it regurgitates the parasites into the skin. There, the parasites feed on the host's white blood cells, reproducing and spreading to new areas of the skin. When an uninfected sandfly bites the infected human host, the cycle begins again. Transmission. It is transmitted when an infected female sandfly, which had contracted the protozoan from an infected animal or person, bites a new host. Symptoms. Leishmaniasis has a lot of symptoms which include, for the cutaneous, skin ulcers, ulcers in the mouth, the nose, tongue, etc., stuffy and runny nose, and nosebleeds, breathing and swallowing difficulty, and with the visceral, abdominal discomfort, cough, diarrhea, fever, night sweats, thinning hair, dark scaly skin, vomiting, and weight loss. Treatment. The sores, if left untreated, can spread ulcers to other places. Therefore, medication such as anatomy, which are compounds of main drugs, are used to treat leishmaniasis. Surgery is also another option. Places it's found. Leishmaniasis has been reported in all continents except Australia, the Pacific Islands, and Antarctica. A large amount of cases have been reported in such places as the Amazon Basin, tropical regions of the Andean countries, Morocco, and Saudi Arabia. Okay, uh, my solution, I think that might work to decrease the number of leishmaniasis patients is that I think that people should be educated on the disease, like what's the effects, the causes, how it's transmitted, and all the basic knowledge needed to take preventive measures, because we all know that prevention is better than cure.